What's up guys, Wild and Customs here and today we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Retaliation Figures Roadblock. I also bought Snake Eyes but I'll have them up tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look at the back. These are like 3, 4, 4 inch figures, pretty cool. And uh, let's open them up. Alright guys, finally we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the 4 inch scale. Uh, it's a pretty good figure, pros and cons. Let's get into the cons first. Take a look at his right hand. It's a permanent handle hand. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you guys later. I actually switched it out with another one. But getting on with the review, it has a pretty nice sculpt though. I like the sculpt a lot. There's a rock. Pretty cool. The body is really nice looking too. Nice and muscular, just like the rock. And uh, here's the pants. Knee pads, boots. Here's the back. Uh, articulation is pretty nice. Ball jointed head, left, right, up and down. He has a swivel, hinged shoulders, nice rotation, nice and smooth. Same thing on the elbows. And wrist joint is a swivel. Ball joint on the abs, nice rotation on them up and down, left and right. Nothing on the waist, but he has this, so it's alright. Uh, G.I. Joe style ball jointed hips, nice. And a knee joint. Nothing on the ankles, of course. Thank you, Hasbro. And uh, that's about it. Now let's get into the stupid gimmick of the gun. So he has his handle hand. Take a look at his gun. Close this up. So first off, you want to take it apart. Stick the knife back in. And then you want to take this, and you basically want to stick it in there. In the back here. And that, there you go. Knife comes out. Stick it back in. Uh, he has something over here. I thought it was a gun, but it's not. I don't know what this really is, actually. Uh, after that, you stick it back in. Just like that. You take his shoulder piece. Actually snaps on pretty nicely also. Nice and secure. And then you stick the ball joint. The peg in the ball joint. There you go. Pretty cool. And then you stick this end up there and watch the magic. There you go. Right, I fucked that up. Let's do it again. There you go. That's all it does. Uh, you could try to stick it out more. And then you could open these up. It looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. But it's not cool. So then you just fire it now. So that's about it for the, the gimmick and the blaster. Uh, what I do now, uh, by now you guys should have a lot of 3, 4 inch figures. Most of them, or some of them, that has a wrist joint that, that is black. I have about 2 or 3 Punishers, so I just took one, sacrificed it. Uh, this, actually, this hand comes off pretty easily too. The peg on it is pretty uh, crappy. It's like a flat peg. There's no grooves in it like this one. So this one actually sticks in a lot better. And nice and smooth. Uh, a little tight, but it's a lot better. It doesn't come off as easy. And by doing that, you already have a better roadblock. Uh, obviously, this is glossy. I might switch both hands, or I might just paint this one. But uh, just by showing you that you, know, you could do that, makes it 10 times better than you just take a gun stick it in there and looks like 10 looks a lot better just like that uh, this actually is a gun for the six inch figures but I think it looks pretty good on him I don't know he's a big fig he he's a pretty big figure for the four inch scale uh, I'll show you guys in the a size comparison so this gun actually looks like a desert eagle in his hand if anything and desert eagles are really big so definitely pretty cool figure I do like it a lot and uh, definitely nice to actually have a rock or Dwayne the Rock Johnson figure in this scale so you could actually like put him in cars and just like in fast five and kick some ass or a truck yeah maybe get a Humvee uh, one of those Captain America ones painted black Size comparisons, here's the great one with some of the other 3-4 inch figures. Uh, looks pretty good, I'm not going to complain, because the Rock is a pretty big 
guy he's like six four six five so it's pretty uh good scale i feel like i am scared though i don't know if hasbro made roadblock this size because he's the rock or it's because that's how big their gi joe figures are going to be uh, i'm looking at snake eyes right now in box still and he looks kind of tall i'm not gonna lie so we'll have to see when i open that one but other than that it's a pretty good figure i like it a lot check it out and uh that's about it guys so like always co comment criticize subscribe do whatever you want just pay attention follow me on facebook and twitter and peace